Welcome to Electron Line. Our second, our next example, not second example, we've seen a lot of examples, but our next example is finding the insulation thickness required to lower the heat flow from the original 4,245 watts down to 1,000 watts. So we can accomplish that by adding additional insulation, making the insulation layer thicker. The insulation layer where the K the heat conductivity constant is 0.5 watts per meter per kelvin instead of the 20 watts per meter per kelvin for the inside layer, layer one. All right, how do we do that? Well, we're trying to find a new value for B given that the new heat transfer is 1,000 watts, 1,000 joules per second. But in other words, what we're going to do here is change this B, let's call it an X, the unknown X. What is X equal to? So find x. Okay, that means we have to solve that equation for x and solve and plug in what we know. Hmm, looks a little messy, but I think we can manage that. Let's see. Uh, we end up with q dot multiplied times, let's see here, that would be the natural log of c over a divided by 2 pi k1l and that would be plus q dot times the natural log of x over c divided by 2 pi k2 times l. So we cross multiply that and that would be equal to the difference in the temperature, delta t. And remember that delta t would be the total difference in the temperature between the inside and the outside temperature. So now we need to move this to the other side. So we have q dot times the natural log of x over c divided by 2 pi k2l is equal to delta t minus, moving this to the other side, that would be q dot times the natural log of c over a divided by 2 pi K1L. And finally, we need to solve this for the natural log of x over c. So the natural log of x over c is equal to, multiplying this across, so we have 2 pi K2L divided by Q dot, multiplied by everything that's on the right side, which is delta T minus Q dot times the natural log of C over A divided by 2 pi K1L. And close the bracket. All right, so let's first calculate the natural log of X over C, and from that we'll calculate the value for X. So let's plug in numbers and see what we get. The natural log of X over C is equal to 2 pi and I'm going to leave the units off because this is a messy equation. K2 is 0 0.5. L is 2. Q dot is 1,000. Times delta T, that would be 480. 500 minus 20. Minus 1,000. Times the natural log of C, which is 10, over A, which is 5. And centimeters is fine because the units cancel. 2 pi times k1, which is 20, times the length, which is 2. Okay, so over here, we end up with the natural log of x over c is equal to, and let's see what that number is equal to. So working from the inside, we take the natural log of 2, divide by 2, divide by pi, divide by 40, multiply times 1,000. Subtract that from 480, so minus plus 480. And then multiply that times 2 pi and divide by 1,000. So I get an interesting number, if I can read it, 2.998. That's close enough to 3.0, so let's call it 3.0. That means the natural log of x over c is 3.0. Point zero. So now, if we take the, hmm, what do we call it, the, the um, uh, 
antalog. I was just trying to think of the name I'm trying to use there, the antalog. So we're going to e raised to the natural log of x over c is equal to e to the 3.0. Now since that's an exponent, I better use the exact number I get. So instead of 3.0, it's 2.9986. Ah, close enough. 2.9986. I don't think we need to go that particularly accurate. So when we do that, we get x over c is equal to e to the 2.9986. And so therefore, x is equal to c times e to the 2.9986. And c, c is 10 centimeters. So x is equal to 10 centimeters times the quantity e to the 2.9986. So x is equal to... 10 equals, looks like, close enough, 200 centimeters. So, how thick does our insulation layer need to be? Well, if B, which is X, is 200 centimeters and C is 10 centimeters, that means the thickness, the thickness is equal to X minus C, which is equal to 200 centimeters minus 10 centimeters which is equal to 190 centimeters. So that means that if you want to slow down that heat flow from 4,245 watts or joules per second to 1,000 watts, you need to increase the thickness of the insulation from 10 centimeters, about four inches, all the way to 190 centimeters. Wow, that's almost six feet. That's quite an insulation layer. Hmm, maybe that's not a good way to handle it. Maybe what we can do is put a different insulation layer that has a different constant K, a lower constant K, so that it slows down the heat flow simply by using a better insulator rather than more of the insulator. That's really not that good, is it? All right, but anyway, that's the answer. 190 centimeters, almost two meters of insulation to slow the heat flow down to 1,000 watts. And that is how it's done.